So it's been a long time coming that I've been working on this code base and people have been asking if I am posting it somewhere so that they can download it and use it as a template for their own code or learn more from it by studying it uh, in their own, you know, in their own hands on their own computer. And I've always wanted to be able to provide that, but I had to work out the right way that I could do it. And so finally, that's available. You can go and get the most recent version of the code as of the last video that got posted on the channel. It is pushed to this GitHub repository and I will periodically push it. It won't be always immediately up to date, but maybe once every six months to 12 months, I will update it again. I know that's not necessarily the most ideal pace. You might want to just always have the latest thing, but that's gonna be the best way for me to release it. So hopefully that will work for everybody else too. On top of that, I'd like to announce what we're gonna be doing next on this channel. So I'm gonna take a break from adding to the code base for a little while and switch to practicing some stuff. And in particular, what I wanna practice is one, I've never handwritten any assembly or dealt with low level details below what C exposes you to directly. I've looked at some of that stuff, like I understand some of the optimization principles, uh, wide registers, out of order execution, cache branchless loops, stuff like that. Uh, I understand why they're important, but I've never really just looked at like the mundane details of what you have to get done to generate machine code that works correctly. And I want to be able to do that because I want to be able to toy around with writing compiler backends later on in the channel. So before I can get there, I kind of need to know like what are the catches and the tricks you need to know about just writing assembly and specifically x64 assembly. The other thing I'd like to practice is some number theory stuff, and that's mostly for my own amusement. I want to take a break from doing stuff because it's artistically interesting or technically interesting and just do something that I have fun doing, and I like doing math for no particularly good reason. And number theory is what I've kind of been interested in lately. So I was thinking it'd be cool to be able to use my interest in number theory that's already there and combine it with something I'd like to learn more of, x64, so I'll be practicing both of those together. And the way I intend to practice these at the same time is by going and doing some of these Project Euler problems. If you look through the problems here, they're not all number theory problems, but a lot of them have something to do with work on integers, whether it be Pythagorean triplets or prime numbers, Fibonacci numbers, factorization problems, things of those natures that involve different aspects of, of uh, number theory, polynomials and stuff. And they also all involve a heavy programming component, or at least they can. Most of them do, won't pass the easiest problems, require a certain amount of programming. And so it forces you to not only have some programming chops and some mathematics chops, but also kind of make the judgment call of when you've done enough math to simplify the problem and need to switch to computation to do the rest of it, which is an interesting and subtle problem of its own, I think, uh, to practice. So I like these problems. That's what I usually use to practice a new programming language or something if I'm trying to wrap my head around a new language or a new way of programming. And so I think it's a good place for me to practice my x64, you know, since it's the first time I'm going to be doing something like that seriously. And it'll also give me an opportunity to play around with number theory stuff, which I'm just interested in right now. So that's what I'm going to be working on. And I'm going to do this differently in another way, which is I'm not going to be just making YouTube videos. I'm going to live stream them. So here's my plan. I'm going to do 10 practice sessions at like two to three hours of programming in each of my 10 practice sessions. And they're going to be throughout March as shown on this calendar here. So every Tuesday and Thursday throughout March, I'm going to stream at 6 p.m. And those streams will not get archived on this channel, but they'll be archived on my personal archive channel. And then I will turn them into a few highlight videos for the channel uh, that will involve uh, snippets of interesting moments, if there are any from the streams, and also me summarizing what, what, what I've learned over the course of one or two of these practice sessions. So you'll be able to follow along in a bite-sized amount, or you can come join me on the streams and follow along the entire process. Uh, or, you know, watch the archives later if you'd prefer to do that too. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and I will be streaming on my channel here, Twitch TV slash Mr. Fourth Dimension. Again, that's at 6 p.m. It'll be PST and PDT when the time zone or time daylight savings time changes. And that's what's coming up for our next section of videos on the channel. Hope that is interesting and I'll see everyone later. Bye bye.